Yeah, Bill, that's right. In fact, more than $17,000. And he says it's from a payment that was cleared by the city many years ago. Now, unfortunately, like you guys know, and like many of our viewers know, this issue is not unique to just him. It's been happening all across the city of Richmond. Inside McCormick's Whiskey Grill on Robinson Street, you'll find an impressive display of, well, what you'd expect. We buy whole barrels of whiskey uh, from distilleries so that when you come and you get a specific bourbon at the restaurant, it's only available here. It's one of Mac McCormick's three locations in the area. And I've actually been an owner for almost 30 years. And he prides himself in running his restaurant the opposite of how he says City Hall runs Richmond. I feel like if I did my business like the city of Richmond did their business, I would be out of business. McCormick found himself in the same boat as countless other business owners when he received a letter in January from the finance department saying his meals tax account was delinquent. I went to our accountant who handles probably like 250 restaurants in Richmond and she goes, oh boy, you got one of these too. In investigating the problem, McCormick discovered a payment from July 2018 that didn't clear the first time it was submitted. However, the check did clear just two days later, and he confirmed that with the bank. And uh, I brought the city of Richmond evidence that we paid that tax and they said it was never applied to our account and they don't know what to do now. So for more than five years, the finance department applied all his subsequent tax payments to what they claimed was a delinquent account. All the while, they collected 10% late fees every single month without ever notifying McCormick. Now they're telling him he owes more than $17,000. You know, sometimes in the summertime when it's slow, that's two weeks worth of business that they're saying that we owe them just in penalties and interest. In his latest memo to the city council, Chief Administrative Officer Lincoln Saunders says the issue might boil down to a process change in 2019 when finance decided to redistribute how the city applied tax payments so that they could prioritize covering delinquencies. While Saunders maintains the city followed state and local laws, he admits that communication to the public was, quote, not at the level we strive to achieve. They just don't care. Like, they don't care about small businesses in Richmond. Though the city says meals tax reviews and collection improvements are underway, McCormick believes that doing business in Richmond will just always be a struggle. I didn't realize how difficult it was until we opened in Henrico and I realized that there's a much better way of doing things. Now, McCormick says last week he went up to City Hall to try and have these issues addressed, and since then, he's still waiting on a solution. Lincoln Saunders says the city is working with its attorneys to figure out how to provide more relief to impacted business owners, but he says it will be a process that has to happen one by one and will take some time. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.